Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've got this gorgeous beak in front of me today and it is a new, new release from Mila Marotta. So this was released today and it is Secrets of the Sea. So we've got all sea animals and sea creatures in this one. If you know Mila Marotta, you'll know that she's done lots of books. If you type her name into Amazon, several, several will come up. I don't know how many exactly, I haven't counted them, but there is a lot. Um, so they're all predominantly animals, I think, and they all seem to have a different theme, like woodland or this one, obviously, Secrets of the Sea. I do have an old one of hers here, which is called Brilliant Beasts. So you can see that they're the same square shaped, all the books are this square shaped format. Um, the Secrets from the Sea, it does feel as though there is less pages in it. So this, this one is the Beautiful Beasts and this one is the Secrets from the Sea. So it does look a tiny bit less pages in it, but it feels like the same paper, the same nice paper. So we're going to flip through it. The front cover is this gorgeous, gorgeous pops of colour all over the page with this gold foiling. And then the side, Millimarata there, and the back cover. So let's get into it. So first off, we have this little pull out here. Now, on first glance, it does look like it's been designed so that you can colour it. But it does feel very smooth and it's almost got like a gloss texture to it. So I don't know what you would use to colour that in. Um, yeah, I wouldn't like to try colouring it. Perhaps it's not meant to be, I'm not sure. Let me know if anyone's coloured anything like that in one of these books. <laughs> so that's the front title. So also this book was published in the United Kingdom in London. We have introductions, I'll not bore you with reading that out on the channel. And then we get into it. So this one, this reminds me of an illustration from Circle of Life actually, with that circular um, shape. Lovely whale waves and sun. It really does remind me of a page out of that book. Then we've got some fish. This page I don't like. If you know me, you know I don't like this sort of intricate um, wallpaper style. So that's a no-no for me. I think these are sea turtles. I think the sea turtles, those ones, one in each corner. But this is shells, isn't it? But yeah, that's a no-no from me. This again, I love the circular shapes and they're dolphins, those I think. Love the little bird on this side. Wow, look at that lobster. Is it lobster? Pretty sure. Wow, that's all I can say about that one. So next, this is sort of like a mandala, isn't it? And this looks like a little, I don't know what it is. There is actually a full list in the back of the book, but I don't want to keep flick, flicking back to the back of the book to tell you which animal it is. I think that you would get quite annoyed at that. Page of starfish, Luke. That's beautiful. I do like that because you can kind of, you can colour it bit by bit. So you can perhaps sit down one day and colour this one, then the next, or one morning, one evening. And there is actually room around so you can put a bit, put in a bit of a pencil of detailing around there, or a bit of a soft pastel um, detailing around there. That's nice. I think this is a hammerhead shark with the looks of it and some crocodiles or alligator. That is cool. I like that one. I hope I'm in frame because I tried to zoom out a bit more and my camera just went out of focus. I don't know what's up with it lately. So these, are these eels? Do we think? So the faces are on this side, the tail's on that one. Oh, look how cute. Is that a little puffin? Not sure what this one is. Maybe some sort of penguin. I'm not well up on my animals. <laughs> this is some sort of lizard or iguana or something like that. Is that a squid? Who knows? 
they look like heels as well again a, a lovely circular one i'm really into that at the minute in any of my books i've sort of homed in on the circular illustrations and wanted to color them i don't know what it is but i just really like it really like it so this one is a double page spread of otters it looks like that's cute and then that looks like the rays of light coming down into the ocean another mandala style page and a wallpaper page these are little ducks so there's quite a few pages that i wouldn't personally color but there's quite a lot as well that i think are fantastic like i wouldn't color that that's too too intricate i've just realized as well that it's sort of a bit of a um downside to this book is that the mandalas, which I actually do colour from time to time, but I use alcohol markers to do it. Um, and I wouldn't be able to do that with this boot because it's double sided. So that's the downside to that. Lovely penguins. How gorgeous. This lovely one. That's pretty simple and cute, isn't it? Just some feathers. That's quite nice really nice oh those fish are gorgeous i love that and i love that the background's pretty plain as well you've just got these bubbles dotted around so the background just, you, you could do on there would be fabulous another little bird of some sort and i have no clue what these are now i did have a little flip through this book not properly but i did flip it a little tiny bit and i did come across a page that was damaged now I'm not going to bother sending it back for the one page um, but yeah I don't know what's happened in transit or in the warehouse but there is this page that has a sort of that's been dented up a bit and then the following page so we've got this wolf looks like a wolf there and it's just been I don't know it's been roughed about hasn't it it's really crinkled on that side as well you can see there perfectly can't you where it's damaged but it's just i mean it's just that one page i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother them about it because to be honest this page would be one that i wouldn't color this is fish all going across the page i have no clue what these are these squid again <laughs> or am i being totally stupid here I've no clue. No clue. Oh, look at the clothes. Two pages stuck together. Yeah, so the paper is good quality in Miller Murata's books as well. Really nice. Look at them. I'm trying to work out what they are. I had a bit of a silent moment then because I was trying to work out what it is. Maybe it's some sort of coral reef. Um, Some sort of thing under the sea I don't think it's an animal <laughs> it doesn't look like one to me so we've got this gorgeous polar bear look at him beautiful and another fish and again in the circular illustration illustration I love it love that one one that I won't be colouring <laughs> double face spread of jellyfish These gorgeous. I think these are whales again. And this looks like another otter. That's gorgeous how it's wrapped. It's how it's wrapped around the page. Really cute. Then we have these. What are these called? It's on the tip of my tongue. It really is on the tip of my tongue. Oh, it's not coming out. <laughs> I know what they are though. It's just not leaving my brain oh god just crap look at that that's similar to a circle of life one as well shells this is like more eels or oh, some sort of water snake big fish in the center there what's these ones Are these sea slugs i've heard about sea slugs but i didn't actually know they existed until like a couple of months ago I wouldn't like one of them stuck to my leg, would you? Another big fish. No, I love this one. 
Now you might think, oh, she was gonna say she'd not color that one. She hates that, it's a wallpaper page. But I actually love that one. That one's very pretty and I love coloring flowers. So to me, that one's not too detailed. It's just the right amount, just the right size. And it's, um, you know, it's something that I love. I love coloring flowers. That one is really pretty. Then we have a walrus and some narwhals, which I didn't think existed until not long ago either. I thought there was a myth. I didn't actually know they was real. <laughs> I'm so silly. Oh, now what is this? This is definitely one I want the colouring, guys. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Maybe underwater. Um stuff again but it's definitely not animals on there is it i can't see animals <laughs> nope no clue oh beautiful seahorse and what's this what's this strange thing what is that no clue oh this is gorgeous this is lovely you know what I like as well? I've noticed it on a few of the pages. How there's sort of more detail in one than the other. So if you don't like all the details that are inside here, this one is fab because it's not really... You know, you can get good colour blocking inside there. Yeah, I've noticed that on a few pages. Quite nice. Some more penguins. And look at this gorgeous heart. They look like snails. Do you get snails under the water as well? Ew. <laughs> My daughter's obsessed with snails and she'll go in the garden and she'll pick them up and she'll put them on her hand and I'm just like cringing out in corner like. Mm -hmm. More fish. Big double page spread of fish there. More crabs. And this one is okay as well. That one's quite all right. I think I'd have to sort of google a reference of what these things are to get colours right unless I just made them up <laughs> and decided my own colours gorgeous again we've got more fish this side being more detailed and this not so this looks like some kind of whale again or dolphin some more eels, gorgeous seahorses, another fish, I think these are seals or sea lions. I did go to um, the Safari Park recently and I was explaining to people how a lot of people think that seas and sea lions are the same but they're actually not. So we went into a bit more detail, but I've actually forgot because I've got a mind like a sieve. But there we go. Oh, this is cute. I think I've seen this same sort of species in one of Tim Jeff's colouring books. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I have. And then this is your list of sea creatures. So it says in order of appearance. So the only thing with this that I would have liked is, do you know how Kirby Roseanne's Fragile World book does the same thing and it has all the names of them in the back? But the only difference is with Kirby Roseanne's book, which is good, I'll show you. With Kirby Roseanne's books, right in the corner, really small, but it says a page number, 79. So when you go to the back of the book, you can find... 79 where are we 79 and then it's easy to find so that's european eels now these ones don't tell you any page numbers they don't have any page numbers on so you know they're just in order from the front of the boot which makes it a bit more tricky to try and find out what it is so that would have been nice to have them numbered but other than that we'll um we'll let them off it's nice to have what everything is in the back there really nice 
Oh, was it a leafy sea? Was it a leafy sea dragon? Yeah, leafy sea dragon. That one. I think it is in one of Tim Jeff's boots. And then we have a Tessure colour palettes and materials here. So we have a spare pages, a couple of spare pages to test your materials. And then we have the back, which is also a pull out. But again, it's glossy. It's like really, you know, it looks like it's not supposed to be coloured. But if you know what I mean. Also from Mila Murata, So it does list all her book, other books here. So she has got one two three four five six seven eight other books plus this one which makes nine so i knew there was quite a lot and there's all the um there's some pictures of them but yeah i just thought i would delve into mill and marotta again because i don't really color much from her and i really would like to color one of these and see what i can do with one of these pages i did like the look of the the one that had the um lots of space in the background with the bubbles that one so perhaps that might be my first page but yeah new release from mill and Marotta today secrets of the sea it's out today so i will link it in the description of this video it is available on amazon i do believe it was around eight pounds um so yeah please do give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think down below and subscribe and hit the notification bell and i'll see you again soon thanks everyone bye, -bye.